Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Daily. It's Friday, August 19th, here with Greg Lawless. I'm Nick Fershaw. Greg, a lot to get to, but let's look back at Thursday night's action in the CONCACAF Champions League. Toronto FC, they go down to Panama. They get a 2-1 win over Taro FC. A big win for Toronto, a big win for MLS. Yeah, definitely. You know what, Nick? MLS makes it 5-for-5 five five on match day one in the CCL group stage, and it was Julian de Guzman with a rare goal that gets Toronto going. Ryan Johnson with the mm -hmm. other goal for them. They gave up a penalty late when de Guzman took uh, one of the top of forwards down in the box. Probably a decent call, though the Toronto coaches were not happy about it. But look, that's Toronto FC, two for two in Central America so far in CCL. Don't forget they went down to Nicaragua and beat Real Esteli mm -hmm. on the road as well. So, you know, they're looking good in CONCACAF Champions League. And as they went into this game, they talked about how these trips are beginning to help them come yeah. together. Now, we'll see what it does, though, toward, let's say, the final third of the season in MLS, because this is a Toronto team that has been totally remade are they going to get a lot of confidence that they can bring into the league as well? FC Dallas and Toronto FC, both a top group C now, yep. and they're going to meet in the next game, so we'll see, yeah. get some bragging rights uh, there. Let's move on to just regular MLS action from Thursday night. DC United goes to Chicago. They get a 1-1 draw. Greg, Josh Wolf, the old Chicago Fire hero, gets one for DC United for the equalizer. And you know what? DC, they're finding ways to get results, and it's pretty impressive what they're doing. On the road especially, they're the only team in the Eastern Conference with a winning record mm -hmm. on the road. Now, if they can start to get those wins at home, picking up three points like that, this is a team that could really do some damage, I think, in the Eastern Conference, really upset what everyone expected. The Dayro experiment, if you will, the Dayro move to pick up Dwayne De Rosario is working beautifully. He continues to be a great presence as that second forward for them. On the other side, Chicago, what is it, 15th draw on the season so far, which is an MLS record now. They need to figure out a way to make those draws into, into wins, especially at home right now. So Chicago, I think they're really struggling to figure out how to win a game, and this game against DC was a, a great example of that. From the east to the west, uh, some big news out at LAX. We don't always talk airport news, but Robbie Keane on the ground, the new LA Galaxy designated player, and he's set to meet the media live press conference. You can catch that stream on MLSsoccer.com at 3.30 p.m. Eastern. Greg, a lot of buzz about Robbie Keane in LA. Yeah, he lands at LAX and the Galaxy fans are there to meet him. The flash bulbs are going and the, the singing is happening and lots of autographs and things like that. It's very exciting. We'll see what he does on the field though. That's where it comes down and he has already come out and said, look, throw me into the deep end, yeah. see if I can swim, see what I can bring, and let me show you what I can bring to this team. From one player into another player out, Jimmy Conrad, the longtime MLS veteran, 13 years under his belt here in the league, announced his retirement mm -hmm. on Thursday. We expected that. Uh, a concussion suffered earlier in the season yep. with Chivas USA, so he hangs it up, but a great career with Jimmy, for Jimmy Conrad, a lot of uh, credit to him. You know, he has been in this league for a long time. When you think about all the games he's played, and don't forget also in the World Cup and the national team and all of that, and you know what? From the bottom of our heart, I think I, I want to congratulate Jimmy Conrad on a wonderful career and wish him all the best going forward. He is going to be involved in the Chivas USA Youth Academy, which I think is terrific to have him around there. He's a guy who all the young players can look up to and really learn something from. So good luck with all that, Jimmy. Uh, let's take a look at a couple big games this weekend. The first one, Eastern Conference bragging rights at State. Columbus Crew and the Philadelphia Union out at uh, Crew Stadium. 7.30 p.m. Eastern. You can follow along on Match Day Live. Greg. The two best teams in the East going at in Columbus. And, wh and what is Columbus going to do? I mean, I think that they continually surprise people. And at this point, you know what? Robert Warziha is in the top six or seven coaches after 100 games in terms of his yeah. record. It's amazing. And he continues to put out a team that gets the wins. Now, Eddie Gavin's injury will be an issue for them. But this is a team who I think they can fill him in. Renteria is healthy again, and he's got five goals in just 10 games that he's been able to play because of injury problems. And so I think that this is a Columbus team that knows how to get wins, especially at home. From a Philadelphia standpoint, how do they incorporate Freddie Adu? Will he play that second forward? Will he play out wide? That's what Peter Novak has to decide because he, I think, is going to be this focal point. They're going to play the game around Freddie Adu. A couple big games out west. Let's start in Dallas, where FC Dallas uh, back at home after that big win over Pumas in the Champions League. They play host to Seattle, 9 p.m. Eastern on Match Day Live. Another one is a great game. Two great teams in this one. Seattle, of course, lots of confidence themselves coming off of that uh, midweek game in Champions League. Four to one victors at home in their first group game. So I think this is going to be a great game. Two teams that like to attack 
And I th I'm expecting lots of fireworks down in Dallas. One last game we want to take a look at, and it's another round of the Cascadia Cup. The Portland Timbers playing host to the Vancouver Whitecaps, 10 p.m. Eastern out of Gerald Winfield on Fox Soccer. A good game on Saturday night. Yeah, and you know what? Look, these are two teams that are, are struggling right now, but Vancouver, they're building for 2012 still. They've already announced a new coach for 2012, so all that they're doing is looking to, to work for next year. Portland, on the other hand, they still have an outside shot to make the playoffs. It would have to start now, though. They need to get three points against Vancouver, a team that they should beat. So if they're going to make any run to the playoffs, they need three points in this one. Don't forget, you can find a, a complete list of all the games on MLSsoccer.com. And don't forget, the latest edition of Extra Time Radio came out on Thursday. We had Daniel Hernandez mm -hmm. talking about all the critics of FC Dallas's win over Pumas and Tommy Smith from ESPN breaking down Robbie Keane's arrival here in MLS. You can find that on iTunes and Buzz sprout.